difficult years for so many, and donations are not required to watch the concert. If you would like to make a contribution, Dan and Tom will have the details on how you can do that. These guys are two of my favorite people on the planet, and I know you're going to love the concert. Thank you for joining us. Beginning in 2014, Tom and I have traveled to Florence, Oregon each August to perform in Kathy Parsons' mainly piano house concert series. We're grateful to Kathy and her mom Carol for hosting us and so many other musicians through the years. This annual concert has given us an opportunity to help raise awareness and funds for local nonprofit organizations, one of which is the Oregon Coast Humane Society. For Tom and me, these concerts have always been the artistic highlight of our year. And having grown up in Oregon, the trips west have given me a chance to introduce Tom to some of my lifelong friends, as well as cherished opportunities for us to visit with family members who continue to live there. Through the years, Dan and I have met some wonderful new friends, both in Florence and northward in Tacoma, Washington, where we have shared in concert with the wonderful choir at Resurrection Lutheran Church, hosted by our dear friend, Pastor Karen Bates Olson. This year, because of the COVID-19. Hello, everyone. Welcome to our first virtual concert here from our living room in Virginia. Tom and I are excited to be here, and we want to welcome each of you that are tuning in. Uh, specifically, I want to thank my family out in Oregon for tuning in, and I understand they were able to get Dad out of senior living for the afternoon, which is wonderful. And uh, special thanks to Kathy Parsons, also at MainlyPiano.com, and to Luke Batarse from ArchDukeDigital.com for producing and directing this show this afternoon. Thank you all for being here. We're really excited to do this. We, um, When we thought of doing this, we had no idea what was involved with doing it. We thought we'd just set up an iPhone and wing it. Um, but it got a little more elaborate, and um, so we tried to put together um, a nice little show for you here. Um, and we start all of our shows um, to create a moment with Dan playing. And so we're going to ask everybody out there um, to breathe in and out with us and um, just to take a moment and then Dan will take us on the journey.
So this has been quite a year, hasn't it? Um, we barely got started with the year, and then it changed, and then it changed again, and then it changed again. So we're going to do a song right now um, that speaks to change, and even in the midst of change, um, how it's important to just trust that there, there's a plan in all of this. We may not see it right now, but there's a plan. This is a song called Trust. So thank you very much. We, um, I missed my cue <laughs> so, so much for this live streaming. Anyway, what I was supposed to say now is explain to you that when we were preparing for this, we did a combination of prepare for some live songs. And we also, a couple of weeks ago, did a dry run and recorded a couple of songs. And um, we liked them so much that we wanted to go ahead and share them with you. And then while they're playing, we can actually check the chat room and um, say hello to you guys and see who, who's there. Um, so the next two songs are um, a improvisation that Dan created a couple of weeks ago. And then the second song is an old folk song 
um, that I used to do with my singing group in college called the New Virginians, and it's called The Water is Wide.
Tom and I were both very lucky to grow up in families that uh, supported mus music. And I know Tom would tell the story that he is one of five brothers, two sets of twin brothers, by the way. Tom has an identical twin. He's got an older set of twins and then baby Robert. Um, but he would tell the story that uh, the boys would learn to play the accordion. And his parents' dream, I think, was that they would all be on the Lawrence Welk show back in the 60s, so you can imagine all these little boys playing the accordion. Um, I was lucky to grow up uh, out in Oregon, uh, as I think I mentioned earlier, and while my parents loved music, uh, neither one of them, to my knowledge, played an instrument. Mom played piano a little bit later on in life, um, but my sister, Janine, who is watching tonight, uh, sang in the school choirs, my brother, Mike, played the baritone in the uh, junior high and high school band. And I, of course, played piano. And then my younger sister, Jenny, I always say that she's the true musician of our family. She has a beautiful voice, uh, plays piano wonderfully. Um, I'd like to introduce a song. This was actually taped last summer when we were at Kathy Parsons' uh, Mainly Piano Concert Series concert uh, last August. Um, our mom had passed away April 2nd last year. And Jenny wrote a song uh, within a couple of weeks, I think, of mom's death. And she shared this song uh, at that concert. This is called Home. <laughs>
Hi, I'm Kathy Parsons from MainlyPiano.com, which is based here in Florence, Oregon. I've been hosting house concerts for almost 30 years and have loved having Dan Chadburn and Tom Nichols be part of the concert series for the past several years. They have been very generously donating the proceeds from their concerts here to local nonprofits and especially the Oregon Coast Humane Society, which is also here in Florence. Obviously, most of this year's concerts had to be canceled or postponed, so I was really excited to hear that Dan and Tom were going to take theirs online and keep it as a benefit for our Humane Society. I've been volunteering at the shelter for two afternoons a week for well over a year, and I'm constantly amazed at the dedication and love that goes into taking care of all of the animals that are housed there and to finding them forever homes. My four cats were all adopted from the Humane Society, three of them in the last year. I have to say that it's hard not to bring them all home, but that's a different story. We know that this has been a very difficult year for so many, and donations are not required to watch the concert. If you would like to make a contribution, Dan and Tom will have the details on how you can do that. These guys are two of my favorite people on the planet, and I know you're going to love the concert. Thank you for joining us. So obviously, we want to thank Kathy Parsons and Carol for hosting us all of these many years. And so um, we needed to get Kathy back in front of the spotlight that she loves so well. Um, thank you very much, Kathy. And, and thank you for introducing us to some really fine nonprofit organizations out on the Oregon coast. And, and our absolute favorite um, has been the Oregon Coast Humane Society out there. Kathy explained that she got um, several of her pets from there. And, and Dan and I, uh, over the years, have um, really looked to rescues to, to get the, uh, the loves of our lives, our children. Um, and um, we really appreciate everybody who has um, donated so far. We're, we're astounded. I, I think I found a donate button on Facebook and added it to one of the announcements. And then before I knew it, many of you had contributed. And I've heard from lots of you today from all over the place saying that you've contributed. So thank you very much. Um, I think the two things that have helped us survive this um, have been our music and funny kitty and doggy videos on Facebook. Um, we're grateful um, in the midst of all of this that we have had so much time with each other and at home and with our pet. We lost our girl Molly um, in May. And, um, and I know um, there's many, uh, several of our friends out there who have lost pets recently, and um, um, our hearts are with you guys, too. Um, Dan has the habit of um, writing tribute songs to all of the beautiful, wonderful animals in our lives. And so he's going to tell you a little bit about um, our 18-year-old cat, Cal. And as he shows you the um, Oregon Coast um, donation button, yeah, real quick, uh, the Oregon Coast Humane Society is located at 2840 Rhododendron Drive in Florence, Oregon, 97439. Uh, there is, that address is in the details for the YouTube concert, so if you want to scroll down, you can see that. You can also make a donation at www.oregoncoasthumanesociety.org. Um, just a quick story, I didn't tell Tom this, but mom's favorite flowers of all time were rhododendrons. So I think in her own little way, she's here tonight, the fact that the Oregon Coast Humane Society is on Rhododendron Drive. Um, I'm going to hand that to you, Tom, and then let me just tell you a quick story about Cal, our cat. Um, we, we adopted Cal in 2000, and he was about five years old at the time. And he lived to be 20 years old, so 2015. Every time we would leave, um, he was he had a lot of dog-like qualities. Um, we would leave, and the minute we'd come back in the house, all I'd have to do is go cowboy, and he would come running wherever he was in the house, um, almost like he was you know retrieving a, a toy or something for us. But but um, it's all I had to do was go cowboy. So the day that um, he passed on to the Rainbow Bridge. I came home and um, sat at the piano. And I just wanted to play something for him and, and not really consciously realizing it at the time. 
the piece that I played uh, had that little motif in it, the cowboy. So I'm gonna share that with you tonight. I'm gonna read it off the sheet music, uh, thanks to the wonderful transcriptionists, if that's the right word, uh, to those who can transcribe audio files and then put it on sheet music to replay it. So that is for Cal, our beloved cat. And uh, I'm going to do another song that I wrote uh, a bunch of years ago. Um, and it's a song about remembering. Um, I wrote it for the 30th uh, high school reunion, which was at least 10 years ago. Um, do the math. Um, and so the good thing about being alive so long is you've got lots of memories. Um, the bad thing is that you lose people along the way who you wish you never lost. Um, 
this is a song about um, every now and then remembering and bringing them back into your lives and your memories. It's called Every Now and Then. So that's about remembering. And I've also been remembering about the first time Dan and I met. We met back 22 years ago, um, both singing in the Gay Men's Chorus of Washington and um, quickly discovered that, um, well, I discovered Dan was an amazing piano player and composer. And then Dan um, helped me see that I could be a composer as well. He unlocked me in that part of me and I'm forever grateful for that. Um, through the years, we've been able to write uh, music together for choruses, and we've been able to perform in a bunch of different places. And the other thing that um, we've done together is um, we've worked with different faith communities here in Falls Church and around, um, adding music, writing music for faith communities, and uh, directing choirs. And we got to do a, a really fun project with uh, our current community, uh, Clarendon Presbyterian Church and the wonderful choir there. Um, they honored us by recording a bunch of our songs that we had written. And uh, so what we're gonna do is break now to go to uh, two pre-recorded songs, one that Dan did a couple weeks ago, and then a special version of a song called Made of Choirs of Angels um, that we recorded together a couple of weeks ago. And uh, we'd like to dedicate these to all of our uh, people of faith and communities that we've worked together. 
the choirs of angels come to greet you. May the choirs of angels, may the choirs of angels come to greet you and carry to paradise. May the Lord hold you in his hands. May the Lord hold you. May the Lord hold you in 
and welcome you with love. Do not be afraid, I am with you now. I have called you home with me. Oh my God, you guys are amazing. Thank you so much for being here. Um, we were able to check out some of the folks who have popped on and some of the comments, um, and uh, we're so grateful. We're so grateful that you're here with us, and uh, we can't see you, but we can feel you, and uh, we're grateful um, for your generosity uh, for the Oregon Coast Humane Society. Um, there's so many people to thank, but, um, but um, we'll get to that a little bit later. Um, this next song is about second chances, um, second chances in life, second chances in love, um, and it's sort of set with the theme of the universe or God being an artist that is still painting the picture. So if um, things aren't working out for you right now, um, just know and understand that the picture is still being painted and created. And it's uh, one of our favorite songs to do together. It's called Artist's Loving Hand. Like a watercolor picture left out in the rain, all the colors fading.
an unfinished canvas hidden from the artist's hand. I am alive, and now I finally understand the two unfinished watercolors brought to life by the artist's mind. So now it's time for us to let Dan take us on another journey, uh, another musical journey, which he will create for us in the moment. Take it away, Dan.
how lucky am I to get to live with this guy? Um, uh, 22 years, and every single time he does something new, it blows me away. Um, thank you. Um, so there's so many of us uh, that are out there, and once again, I can't thank you enough for being there. I, I know that um, our families are all together um, watching, and that, that warms our heart. We know that there are um, folks out there in our neighborhoods. We love you. We thank you. We, but we live in the greatest place in Falls Church. Um, we, uh, there are people that I work with. Um, there are people that are in the UK and in Europe and in Canada that are checking in on us. Thank you so much for checking in on us. Um, it means the world to us. Um, we've our got and, aunts. and our cousins and aunts, and especially Eugene. our cousins and aunts in Eugene and in Bend. And in Bend. Um, so thank you all very, very, very much. Um, you know, uh, we're lucky enough to be a, have um, been gifted with a couple of songs. We'd like to share one now that is about not knowing how the rest of your life will unfold. I know some of you are, are trying to figure out things now, uh, now and for the next couple of months and the next couple of years. Um, sometimes all we can do is uh, ask for guidance on our next step. And so this song is called Light My Step. <laughs>
Thank you all so much for being with us tonight. Um, it's meant the world to us. Um, we're just going to leave you with one other little simple prayer song that we wrote. It's called A Prayer for Peace. And, um, and whatever is happening in this world right now, we just hope um, everybody um, can take a deep breath and uh, be a little bit patient and be a little bit kind to each other. So this is called Prayer for Peace. That's it for us. Thank you so much for being with us and have a safe and wonderful weekend. To carry you until your journey's complete. If you just trust, trust, trust. You just trust. Beginning in 2014, Tom and I have traveled to Florence, Oregon each August to perform in Kathy Parsons' mainly piano house concert series. We're grateful to Kathy and her mom Carol for hosting us and so many other musicians through the years. This annual concert has given us an opportunity to help raise awareness and funds for local nonprofit organizations, one of which is the Oregon Coast Humane Society. For Tom and me, these concerts have always been the artistic highlight of our year. And having grown up in Oregon, the trips west have given me a chance to introduce Tom to some of my lifelong friends, as well as cherished opportunities for us to visit with family members who continue to live there. Through the years, Dan and I have met some wonderful new friends, both in Florence and northward in Tacoma, Washington, where we have shared in concert with the wonderful choir at Resurrection Lutheran Church, hosted by our dear friend, Pastor Karen Bates Olson. This year, because of the COVID-19 pandemic, it was not possible for us to travel out west. So we decided to create a virtual concert experience, sharing some of our music with you from our living room right here in Virginia. We'd also like to thank Luke Batarse at Archduke Digital for running video and producing today's event. And so now for the next hour, we look forward to spending time with you and hope you will consider making a contribution to the Oregon Coast Humane Society.